Hi, my name is Jason Morgan. I'm an artist. Welcome into my studio and on this short YouTube video I'm going to show you how I drew this very realistic, very detailed baby elephant and mother in pastels. Now if you want to see a really long version of this I've got a video set over on my Patreon channel. Six videos. I think it's probably about six or more hours long. So as you can imagine it's really packed with lots and lots of details, tips, talking about my supplies, how I'm using them and all that type of thing. So that's over on my Patreon channel. So on this brief one I'm just going to give you a nice overview. Okay so my drawing is down on my pastel matte paper. You can see it's, it's a brown colour, it's a mid-tone colour. makes seeing the lights and the darks so much easier. And of course pastel matte paper has got a slightly textured surface so it allows me for lots of layers. Now a lot of pastel artists, and especially a lot of coloured pencil artists, they seem to work very very detailed on one single area. Now because I come from an oil painting background I like to um, put in a base coat over most of the areas, pretty much cover the old canvas or in this case cover the whole paper in a degree of um, underdrawing so I've blocked everything in before I come in with the real details actually on top. And that's what I'm doing here with pan pastels and you can see I, when I want to detail an area a bit more, work on a smaller area, that's when I start on the pencils more. But the pan pastels allow me to block large areas in very very quickly and that allows me then also to, to assess how light an area needs to go and also how dark an area needs to go. So I find it drawing and painting that way much much easier. Now here I'm obviously starting to detail the mother's trunk and there's no real easy way around this. If you want something hyper realistic you're going to have to spend the time on it. And this total drawing took me probably around about 25 hours or so to complete which for something so detailed is relatively um, fast. And you can see how I'm working on top of that underlayer, so using the underlayer pretty much as the mid-tone, then adding my darks in there and finally starting to layer lights on top. Here I'm working on the background. I like to use soft pastels for backgrounds. If they blurred out a bit, they just blend so much easier. Obviously on a smaller work you could use your pastel pencils for this stage as well but for larger areas obviously pastel pencils would wear down very very quickly and it's much more cost effective and easier to use soft pastels such as pan pastels or soft pastel sticks. And I use a combination of everything. I built my supplies up over about a year and a half adding to them slowly all the time so you don't need to get everything straight away. If you want to start in pastels you can start with just a small set of pencils and I've got a, a real beginners draw along uh, tiger over on my Patreon channel especially for those just starting out straight away. You can see how I'm blocking in the background then using my finger to um, soften the pastel marks to create that very soft background that's just going in the distance here working on that lip. As you can see the darks went in then the highlights at the end and detailing as well making random details. I'm not following the reference photo that much but I'm just trying to go after the actual effect. So you can see I've built up plenty of colors in that under layer then I went in with the, the creases and then started to overlay details on top water in this instance. I wanted to show it on my Patreon channel and I picked a, an extremely advanced water that I wanted to show my members on there and I show it in great detail because I know lots actually struggle with water but when you've when got a few simple techniques it's not that difficult to do. Once again went in with a mid-tone on the trunk and made sure I'm getting those blues in as well. The reflection of the sky above on that slightly wet trunk. That all adds to the realism and then back to working on the water. Essential to get it detailed and hard edged or sharp focused at the front going off to soft focus as it recedes into the background. And here you can see I'm starting to 
really begin detailing now on the baby elephant. So building up that texture with the mid-tones and darks and then the lights going on top again, putting in all those tiny little creases and the highlights on the wet parts. And also all the fine small haze. On the detail video I'll really show you how I build up these textures with random pencil strokes. And now starting to add colour into the shadows and also details as I'm working my way pretty much now from top left of the canvas down towards bottom right so that I'm not leaning on the finished areas too much at all. Now this was a real area, the trunk coming forward in the drawing that I wanted to really make look three dimensional to look as if it was coming out towards the viewer. So I spent quite a bit of time on that. And then detail in the back, which is not quite as detailed as the head. And that's going to add to the effect of that three dimensional trunk coming forwards in the drawing by slightly subduing the elephant's body. And then starting to work on the detailing, blocking in first of the water, then the detailing on top. Lots of complicated shapes and bubbles on there, but when I take it, a small section at the time is quite manageable. Lots of people on their demonstrations, they show very, very simple subjects, simple dogs, simple cats, and they stick with that all the time. And I've got easier subjects on my Patreon channel, on my video channels, but I love to show my best work as well. And from that, my members and students can take um, tips, techniques, ideas, and apply that to anything that they want to tackle themselves. Here you can see putting in the little ripples, little bubbles on the water, small highlights. And then the wet bottom section of the adult's leg. And then when I've done all that, that's when I start to look at the, the drawing as a whole and really start to add all those final details, little touches little colour variations, tonal variations as well. And that's when it all really starts to come together. So I try not to rush this stage, even putting the little water droplets coming from the trunk. So I hope you've enjoyed this overview video. That's around about 25 hours worth of drawing compressed down into about seven minutes of video. If you're looking for even more great art sources, I've really got you covered. First off, I've got a Patreon channel that's been going well over a year or so, packed with around about 50 or more videos and new ones every month. Lots of the videos are uh, many hours long, so you can see they're really, really in-depth. Subjects such as um, turtles, birds, elephants, big cats, you name it, is on there. So that's my Patreon channel. And also on that Patreon channel, before I go on to something else, I've got a secret Facebook group so only the members are actually on there. It's the most supportive and friendly Facebook group that I've ever seen. I know I'm biased, but it really is. We've got uh, four or 500 members on there and they all help each other. So that's a great added bonus that comes free with it. Also you get line art every month as well. And we've just designed a brand new companion website for it. So if you've joined other Patreons, and uh, channels and you found it very very difficult to navigate around we got this free website that comes with it all the videos are now just a single click away couldn't be any easier than it is i've also got my site jasonmorgan.co.uk lots of tutorial videos dvd discs and downloads on there and if you're struggling for reference photos for your art projects i've got some of those too i've got 900 plus on my website wildlifeart-online.com and they will be copyright free for you so you can paint and draw from them and sell your work with no copyright worries whatsoever. So hope you like those extra resources and I'll see you all again real soon.